What's up guys, this is Merc Music and welcome to a quad feed with every gun in Modern Warfare. As usual, this is going to be a quad feed with every primary and secondary weapon in Modern Warfare. A good majority of the clips were hit by me, but I also had some help from Karina as well. And I'm not necessarily trying to overhype this video, but I really do feel like this is one of the best quad feed videos I've ever done. It's certainly going to be one of the longest quad feed with every gun videos I've seen. Right now the project is clocking in at over 22 minutes, so this is the biggest quad feed video I've ever made. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and I hope you guys are ready to watch a ton of quad feeds because this video is gonna be epic. We're gonna be starting the quad feed with every gun video as usual with the assault rifle starting with the Kilo 141. I want to start off by saying that as far as it goes for going for quad feeds in this game I personally feel like the best game modes that you can play are going to be in hardcore. For this video there was a ton of hardcore domination that was played along with hardcore kill confirmed. I feel like those two game modes were probably the best the fastest pace that you can get for playing hardcore variants. There we go. No! Ah, I still got it though. If you've seen my quad feed videos in the past, you know that I recommend playing hardcore a lot. It's because every single weapon in the game has a chance in hardcore, which allows for a lot of weapon variety, and it's overall just really good. There we go, there's a split. But I gotta say, the FAL was definitely a big struggle. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just because the weapon handles a little bit slower, but I had a really hard time actually getting a clean quad feed, and as you'll see in this streak, I had a couple of split quad feeds. Oh! No! But like I've said in the past, sometimes it's not always about just trying to go for quad feeds. Generally speaking, if you want to try to hit really good clips, you don't want to just start or stop at a quad feed. And you know, ideally you want to aim for a lot more. So my mentality going into this clip with the FAL was like, okay, I've hit two split quad feeds. I know that there's some potential. There's definitely some momentum. So I'm just going to keep this streak alive and try to kill as many people as I can. And then maybe, you know, I'll hit that clean quad feed. It'll eventually just happen. Got a really lucky hit fire spray right there. Get a third. I'm almost dead, but... Oh! Yay! Now ah, I wanted more! Oh well. <laughs> but now we're moving on to the M4A1, the most underused, underpowered assault rifle in Modern Warfare. Just kidding. However, as I'm sure you can tell, this is a clip from the beta and I was playing core. I just happened oh to get four kills right there, split coffee with the M4, and I still tried to go, but it was still going to be split anyway, but I tried to get as many kills as I could. Now what's really funny about this is that I actually thought I had a clean coffee with the M4 because of how I labeled it when I was naming the recording, but I didn't. So now we have to call our good buddy Karina to, uh... Let's go, it's Call of Duty time. What the f I guess it's Call of Duty time. I mean, it would make sense using the M4. Ooh. It's pretty much the most popular gun in the game. This is how most people feel when using oh! it. Oh! Keep going, keep going! Keep... There's no one else! Oh, there was. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're moving on to the FR-556, or better known as the FAMAS from Modern Warfare 2. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone actually calls it when they play. I was trying really hard to hit a quad feed with it in the beta, and then... It's split. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, it's split. I mean, I guess that's... Oh, the... yeah! Um, I don't know what happens to me, but apparently after that scream, it really pumped me up because that is just the start of this whole streak with the FAMAS. If you thought that split quad feed was good, there's another, like, split rolling one. I still continued the streak. This was just at the start of the game, too. I'm on a 10 kill streak right now, trying to see if I can get that clean quad feed. I get two more right there, earn a support helo, and then, oh my god. Holy. Oh! That streak, though. That streak with the FAMAS was absolutely nasty, and here's the clip with the Odin. It happened so casually in the beta, like, it was so easy. And this clip right here with the M13 is also from the beta, except I was playing some 10v10 on Graza Raid, which, to be honest, you're probably not gonna see too much 10v10 in this video. Maybe for, like, some very specific guns, like, specific situations, but by and large, you know, as far as it goes for map recommendations, I would highly recommend playing on Gunrunner and Hackney Yard, and now with the new map, Shoot House. Oh it's a very small map, and all of the really small to medium-sized maps in Modern Warfare are going to be great for trying to hit clips on. That's just my recommendation. So even though this clip with the M13 was a split quad, I wanted to show you because it's Grosner Raid and I don't really play it too much. Oh! And surprise, surprise, the clean quad feed with the M13 was hit playing some hardcore domination on Hackney Yard. It's not like the M13 is that bad or anything. It's actually very similar to the M4. It's just I prefer playing hardcore for trying to hit some of these clips. And now since we're moving on to the Scar, I wanted to take some time to talk about attachments because as we all know, the gunsmith in Modern Warfare is pivotal to your success in this game. Even though I recently made a video using the ugliest version of the Scar, you really do need to pay attention to your attachments because since I didn't have extended mags unlocked there, I failed the chance to actually hit a clean quad feed. But it's all good though, because sometimes miracles happen on the map Piccadilly. And it definitely doesn't hurt your chances when you have the right attachments unlocked. If you want to hit some of the best clips in Modern Warfare, I recommend using extended mags, lasers, and other attachments that can reduce your sprint out time. These kinds of attachments will allow you to play more aggressively and stay in gunfights longer. And even though some people might be under the assumption that you have to play slower because the assault rifles handle slower than other guns in Modern Warfare, clearly from this clip, you can play pretty aggressively and still hit clips. But guys, that's going to do it for the assault rifles. Now we're moving on to the SMG starting with the AUG. Now I don't know what it was about the AUG, but for some reason this was one of the hardest guns to get a clean quad feed with. And this is from the beta. That was like the most awkward reload trying to still kill the guy kind of thing that happened. I don't know how he didn't notice me, but I did manage to get a split quad feed right here. 
Oh, it's on screen. And I thought I was satisfied with that clip in the beta, but when the full game came out, I realized that the AUG had some okay attachments, and I was like, I want to try to hit a clean Quathy with this thing. But no matter how hard I tried, everything was getting split, and I just couldn't manage to get a clean Quathy with it. Just play quad feed. All is forgiven. No, it's not. I want clean, though. What did you want, Eric? I want clean! So I thought the best method for trying to get a clean Quathy would be moving over to St. Petrograd, but unfortunately, I was still mistaken. I was playing with Karina and Mike, and I was trying to get this quad feed. Well, actually, I think we were just kind of playing a hardcore TDM very casually, which, by the way, hardcore TDM spawns were pretty broken at the start of the game like this was really early on and i don't know why they kept spawning back here no complaints i mean i ended up getting a lot of kills and i was very very close to getting a clean quad with the aug but this is still not quite it i was just spraying through the smoke killing pretty much the entire team and there's there oh my holy fuck how, how am i still going what the fuck Stop. What was that at the end? That was crazy! But even with a crazy streak like that, I was still not able to get a clean quad feed. So you know what? We're going to do some hardcore domination on Ramaza. We're going to hit this quad feed once and for all, guys. I've got my dead silence so no one can hear me. I've got the best attachments possible on the AUG. I killed the CEO of Twitter right there. Did you see that in the kill feed? I killed Jack. He's once and for all dead, guys. There's the clean... Oh. Wait, that doesn't count as a clean quad feed. That's right, guys. Sometimes even when you're tryharding or if you kill the CEO of Cracker Jacks, it, it still doesn't count as a clean quad feed. So you know what? Sometimes you need to just live life, put a pink camo on your gun, make it look super ugly, put stickers all over it, use terrible attachments, and you know what? Sometimes when you're just casually playing the game and trying to enjoy it, good things will happen. We have finally arrived to a clean AUG quad feed. Oh my god! <gasps> AUG quad feed, finally! <laughs> Honestly, sometimes it's good to just try to remind ourselves that you don't always have to be trying your absolute hardest and using the best guns in the game to try to hit clips or get gameplay or whatever. Just try to have fun with it because even in playing the night vision game mode, you can hit clips. Ooh, p 90 split quad feed. A prime example of getting too upset and taking the game too seriously is this clip playing some hardcore domination on Piccadilly. As you guys might know, right now there's actually some issues with the kill feed in Modern Warfare and, you know, I got split just by getting promoted in the game. And at the time, I thought I failed. Oh no! It really should have been a clean quad feed, but when you get promoted in the game, it shows up in the kill feeds, so, you know, it's gonna split some things it's not really that big of a deal but obviously for the quaffy with every gun series i want to try to hit the best clips i possibly can for you guys i want the feed to look good which is why i've always suggested having a customizable kill feed in call of duty i think at some point in the future it would be really awesome if we had the chance to customize the kill feed exactly how we would like it but yeah even though i would love to have that as a feature at some point in call of duty i'm gonna try not to dwell on it too much for this video but i actually do want to talk about this clip because it's a very interesting one this clip of the p90 was hit at an early capture event i was playing cyber attack on piccadilly which i haven't touched cyber attack at all ever since i actually played this but I managed to get it right here, clean quad feed. I wouldn't necessarily recommend cyber attack as a game mode for trying to hit quad feeds in, but it just goes to show that you can still hit clips in different game modes. I don't know if you guys remember this clip, but this was one of the first quad feeds I ever hit in the Modern Warfare beta with the MP5. Oh, split quad feed! But even though I hit that split quad feed, the MP5 is one of my favorite all-time guns in Call of Duty. It's very nostalgic from Call of Duty 4. The MP5 is just so badass. I wanted to try to hit another clip with it. So even in the beta, when I was trying to get something with every kind of gun in the game, I found myself still using the MP5 and I was able to get a clean quad feed with it, which is awesome. So that another quad? Yep. Holy shit. Still going. Nice job. But now we're moving on to the Uzi, and there's a really funny story behind this clip. This is my first time ever using the Uzi, and this is my first time ever spawning in. I just, I loaded up, put it on, got the quad. I already hit a quad with the Uzi. Wow. Good job. Holy shit. Still trying to go. Come on. Get out of the fucking corner. I gotta get more. I want more. I don't stop. I really need some BB. I want to go still. Ah! But even though I hit that clean quad feed at the time, I wanted to unlock some attachments and try to use the Uzi some more and maybe hit something else for you guys. Now, this is just my opinion, but I feel like the Uzi is actually one of the weaker SMGs in the game. I know it recently got a buff, but at the time when I was going for these clips, the Uzi was actually just not that good. Especially when I was using the Uzi in core, I just felt like it wasn't as strong as the other SMGs. It's just not as competitive. But one thing you'll learn about quad feed with every gun is sometimes it doesn't matter what the gun is. Sometimes all you need is a good opportunity. <laughs> Free quad feed. Holy shit. But even though those people pretty much fed me a quad feed on a silver platter, I was still hungry and I wanted more so this is the same lobby still using the same exact setup and i managed to get another quad feed right here but again don't stop at a quad feed guys even though you hit one still try to kill as many people as you can i ended up getting a six man oh my god if only i had extended mags <gasps> no i'm out oh my god that was sick yeah for that pp bison clip i didn't have the extended mags unlocked so i only had one bullet left i was so close to having that seven man and i wanted it so badly but it's all good and right here i hit this clip with the mp7 in the beta this is a gun that definitely needed extended mags but i was still able to pull it off quad feed Oh! And for our final SMG quad feed, we have Karina absolutely massacring four people in a hallway. Uh, what? Oh! But that's gonna do it for the SMGs. Now we're moving on to the shotgun, starting with the Model 680. As you guys might remember in the beta, I was struggling so hard to get a quad feed with this shotgun. It's just very inconsistent. Sometimes you'll get one-shot kills, other times you'll get hit markers when you think you should be getting a point-blank range one-shot kill, but I still managed to pull it off. Like oh my god! And as I'm sure you can tell from my excitement, I was so relieved to finally hit a quad feed with the Model 680. But now we're moving on to the R90 shotgun, and this thing is an absolute 
monster. I mean, I think it might even be better than the Brecci, honestly. Well, at least in hardcore. Its range is amazing. Oh my god. Oh shit, keep going, keep going. One more. He's like right over you. What are you doing? Camper. Now, as far as it goes for the conversation around shotguns in Modern Warfare, pretty much all the talk is surrounding the 725, but honestly, the other shotguns in this game are really good. It seems like for the most part, all of the shotguns in Modern Warfare have better damage ranges than in other Call of Duty games. Just think back to Black Ops 4 and think how pitifully bad the pump action shotgun was in that game. And no, I'm not just gonna sit here and dump on Black Ops 4, but the pump action shotgun in that game was pretty pitiful, and the rest of the shotguns really weren't that great either. All I'm really trying to say here is that the shotguns in Modern Warfare are really good. This is a good year for shotguns in Call of Duty, and if you've only been using the 725, branch out and check out the R90 shotgun. It's actually really good. And if the 725 continues to get nerfed, this thing might take over. Puppy. We're fucking go. Yeah! Which, speaking of the 725, here's the rancid, putrid shotgun that has infested Modern Warfare, continues to get nerfed, but is actually not really nerfed at all. I hit this clip with it in the beta, and at the time I was just thinking, this thing is so horrible, I don't know how I'm gonna hit a quaffy with it. Oh! Now, at the time in the beta, I thought a split rolling quaffy with the 725 was gonna be good, I thought that's as good as it could get as far as it goes for using this shotgun, but I was horribly, horribly mistaken. Here's a clean quaffy with it playing hardcore. Oh! oh my God, yay! Now it's really funny because at the time when I hit that quad view with the 725, I was really impressed. I was like, oh, this is so good. I got a long range shot too. Turns out that's just what the 725 does. But now we're moving on to the Origin 12, which is pretty much the brecci of this game. And I got a quad view right here and I wanted to get more. I gotta reload! I gotta reload! I gotta reload! I got it though! That feed that I just hit with the Origin 12 was hit really early on and I didn't have that many attachments unlocked for it. And to be honest, I still to this day don't even have the 25 round attachment unlocked, but I would love to get it and do a video on that because guys, the 25 round brecci in this game is absolutely insane and it's gonna have a lot of potential. But that's gonna do it for the shotgun clips. Now we're moving on to the LMG, starting with the PKM. Now, as far as it goes for hitting quad feeds with the LMGs, it's always traditional been very easy in Call of Duty and nothing's changed. It's the same in Modern Warfare. They have tons of ammo and it's really easy to hit close with them. Quaffy. But our next LMG on the list is the RPG-7. Okay. Totally kidding guys. I just use it for clearing out campers, which as you can tell is pretty effective. If you want to kill campers, use the RPG. It's actually really good. But this is just an alternate clip with the PKM because, you know, I'm trying to increase the map variety, show you guys that I can hit clips on Pickle Dickle just like everyone else. And again, the PKM or the Pretty Creamy Mustard, which is the brother to the Very Creamy Mustard from Black Ops 4, is really good. You can get a no scope for a five man. Oh. But if you thought two quad feeds with the PKM wasn't good enough. There's about like 75 more of them. To <laughs> totally kidding. I don't want to bore you guys with a million LMG clips. But Karina and I did hit two clips each with the PKM, so I wanted to include both of them. And yeah, besides that, I would recommend using the PKM in Spec Ops. It's actually a really good LMG for that, and I think when you use it, you might be going... Oh! But now we're moving on to the SA-87, and I hit this clip in the beta. Now, this one was a little bit trickier because you don't have nearly as much ammo, and in the beta, again, you couldn't unlock all the attachments, so I would found myself reloading and it just it was pretty hard to hit something with it compared to the other lmgs in this class the sa87 is probably one of the worst it doesn't really feel like an lmg it feels more like an assault rifle it handles like one it has the ammunition of an assault rifle and it was just pretty tough oh my god split quad but luckily in the beta i was able to hit a quad view with it and funny enough i actually got it from camping i decided to just kind of goof around and mount here and i miraculously got two kills right there plus the one i had before and then sprayed this guy down for a quad feed successfully saving myself from having to ever touch that gun when the full game came out. The same thing is pretty much the case here with the M91. This LMG is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's necessarily as good as the PKM. It seems to have more recoil, but you can get grip attachments that help out with that. But for the most part, I hit quad feeds with all of the LMGs in the beta, so I don't really remember them all that well. Oh! No, I was out of- oh, They had a split five in! But the last LMG here, the MG34, you couldn't get it in the beta, so I had to try to do something when the full game came out. I tried doing the whole strat and ground war where you try to take a helicopter to the enemy flag as fast as possible and blow people up with the RPG. It didn't quite work out, but I still had the MG34 and I managed to hit this. Oh my god! I just got a split quad feed. Honestly, looking back, it probably would have been smarter to try to hit a quad feed with the MG34 in hardcore because it doesn't have as much ammo as the M91 and the PKM. But with this clip and later on in the video, you guys are going to see that ground war is actually amazing for hitting quad feed. Oh, quad feed! But that's gonna do it for the light machine guns. Now we're moving on to the marksman rifle, starting with the EBR-14. Now, honestly, I absolutely hated this gun in the beta. It was so terrible. If you got shot at, you would flinch like crazy. You would not be able to hit anything. So I started off with the quad feed that I hit in hardcore. Oh, split! But thankfully, when the game was fully released, the EBR-14 now doesn't have that whole, like, weird flinch thing. And on top of that... You don't have any UAV online? Um, wait. I'm pretty sure the enemies didn't have any UAVs online, because if they did, they would have stopped me from doing this. Oh! More! Yeah. Oh! 
Oh my god! I was really happy to hit that six man with the EBR-14 because it was such a struggle in the beta. It was one of the hardest guns for me. And then when the full game came out, it was actually kind of a cakewalk in hardcore. But now we're moving on to the MK2. This clip was hitting the beta and it was absolutely filthy. I had to throw it in even though it was split. I think the MK2 is one of those guns that's just extremely fun to use in the game. I mean, it can be really effective up close, but also at long range as well, depending on the attachments that you put on it. It's definitely a gun that rewards accurate players and it's very satisfying. Oh! Oh my god! Both of those clips were hitting core during the beta, and since they were split, I still wanted to try to get a clean quad feed with it because I know how good the MK2 carbine is. So I decided to try it out in hardcore when the full game came out, and I managed to have some luck on Pickle Dickle. Oh! But now we're moving on to the Car 98K, which traditionally is a sniper, but it falls into the marksman rifle category on Modern Warfare. And I had a really hard time using this thing. I was playing in hardcore, and I was actually kind of camping with it a bit because I was struggling. I missed! Oh, yeah, my first quad feed with it was very slow. I was camping and it's just because of how the car 98k handles You know, it doesn't have a very fast follow-up time in between shots So you kind of have to slow down your play a little bit But I was still trying to be aggressive and I still tried to hit a quad feed with it while rushing around I just had a really hard time getting lucky in one of the more aggressive clips I had I got very unlucky got super split So you know what played some hardcore domination on Ramaza right at the start just trying to kill them all right out of spawn And I actually got split by ranking up, but I thought this one was actually still pretty good Oh. oh! Oh my god! Ah! Let's go! As you can tell, we were pretty excited. There's one coming today! He's coming in the alley! I know, he's coming with the shotgun! No, let's go! Woo! But that's gonna do it for the marksman rifles. Now we're moving on to the snipers, starting with the Dragonov. It's really interesting because the transition from the marksman rifles to the sniper rifles coming from the Car 98K to the Dragonov is really interesting because for some reason in Modern Warfare, I just have a really difficult time playing aggressively and trying to snipe in Modern Warfare. At least with the Dragonov, I found it easier to put a low zoom kind of scope and try to play aggressively with it in hardcore, which ended up working out pretty well because I actually got a pretty nice quality with it. Oh! But when it came to the bolt action sniper rifles, this is where I really had to slow things down. This is one of the first clips that I hit with the HDR and my god, I mean, just look how hard I'm struggling. Like, I had a variable zoom scope on or something like that, and I got a split rolling quad feed. Oh! Now, as far as it goes for my recommendations for sniping in Modern Warfare, I would recommend playing Ground War or 10v10 because the maps are generally very big and very open, and they're really good to snipe on. But when it came to finally hitting this really awesome 7-man with the HDR, I really just needed to get into the right mentality of trying to play more aggressively with it, getting past that mental oh barrier god. of saying, hey, you have to camp or play slower or hard scope with a sniper. You don't have to. You can actually play pretty aggressively with a sniper if you get into the right mindset. Holy shit. But when it came to the AX50, which is even slower than the HDR, I put on an ACOG and I was just hard scoping in 10v10 on the bridge. Oh, one more. I have no shame. Stop touching me. Oh my god! Split! But if you thought the sniper rifles were hard in Modern Warfare, now we're moving on to the melee weapon, starting with the riot shield. I do want to take the time to apologize because I don't have a riot shield quad feed oh for this video. Yes, I do, do believe it. a riot shield quad feed is possible in Modern Warfare, but it would be extremely difficult. For starters, you'd have to be playing hardcore because that's the only way to get a one-hit kill with it. On top of that, there's no kinds of attachments you can get for the riot shield that would increase its melee speed. It's very slow. You can only hit once every second or so. So when it really comes down to it and you factor in all of those variables, it's basically impossible to hit a quad with a riot shield unless you're playing against brain dead chickens i was kind of hopeful when shoot house came out because i was like oh, okay this is a small map i can try to go for a quad feed but it just still was so difficult i did put in some time and i tried to use the riot shield in hardcore and try to hit a quad feed but it would just be such a waste of time i would have had to delay this video even further to try to do that so instead i bestow upon you some spawn trapping with the riot shield on gulag showers which honestly if you could play 6v6 on that i could probably have a quad feed but unfortunately that's just not a reality but even though i didn't have any luck with the riot shield this clip with the combat knife is honestly one of my favorite clips that i hit in this entire video so here's how I tried to pull all of this off. I had a class with some stealth perks that would hide me from UAVs and stuff like that. I was trying to destroy all the claymores so I could get out on top of the roof and kill the people camping up there, but I wanted to wait a little bit. I needed more of them to spawn and I was waiting for the right opportunity. After destroying those claymores, they were probably going to be checking in the door, so I needed to wait a little bit before they'd go back and try to snipe. So if you want to try to pull something like this off, remember, use some stealth perks, make sure you clear all the claymores, and wait for that perfect opportunity because if you storm the rooftops on Divorce District, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe you're going to knife the entire lobby. <gasps> oh my god, it's perfect! watching oh my god oh my god i can go i'm going oh my god I just killed seven people! So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip with the combat knife. Now we're moving on to the handgun, starting with the X16. Generally speaking, the assault rifles and the SMGs, they can do pretty well in core, but pistols, you definitely want to play some hardcore to try to hit some feeds with them. And honestly, it's really satisfying to hit feeds with pistols because it can be pretty tough. Yes! Now honestly, this clip with the 1911 is kind of a goofy clip because I was using the oil can suppressor, which is obviously a terrible attachment choice. I still had a lot of attachment grinding to do with this gun, but I was still able to pull off a split quad feed with it while I was just messing around. Oh, split quad feed! Yay! But now we're moving on to the three 57 Magnum, and this is Karina's clip, and it's really good because she wasn't using the shotgun shells like I was, which makes it a lot easier. <gasps> I got it! You got it! 
Oh shit! To be honest, the 357 is actually really good in Modern Warfare, regardless of whether or not you use the shotgun shell ammunition. But the shotgun shells, they're definitely really good, but you can't pull off long range shots like oh that God. to the B flag, so. When it comes to the ammunition choice, I think it's gonna be kind of situational. Use the shotgun shells on close range maps, which is exactly what I did when I was playing Gunrunner in the pistol shotgun video. On go me. Oh, that split quad feed though, that was disgusting. Oh, keep going. Oh! Ooh, I don't think it has that range. Oh! Oh my god, this is a disgusting streak, what the fuck? But now we're moving on to the M19, which is honestly one of the weakest and one of the worst pistols in the game, but thankfully I was able to hit this in the beta. I haven't touched this pistol ever since. But surprisingly, I feel like it's one of the best clips I've hit. Oh my god! <gasps> yes! It's all going! Oh my god! That was insane! <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we had the Desert Eagle, which is just an absolute tank in Modern Warfare. I was lucky enough to hit something with it in the beta, but I knew I wanted to keep using it because obviously when Hardcore came out, it was going to do even better. Why is it lagging? Oh! Split on screen. So yeah, when I hit that clip in the beta, it was split, and I knew I wanted to hit something clean with the Desert Eagle because it's just such an awesome gun. So I was playing some Hardcore on Piccadilly, and I just kind of casually, boom, got a collapse. Oh! And last but not least, guys, we're gonna have some quad feeds with the launcher, starting with what I call the rice pilaf launcher. Karina actually hit this clip with the pilaf in the beta, and her reaction says it all. <gasps> oh! Her Elgato didn't record my reaction, but I have mine. Oh my god, you got a quad! It's going in the video! Xbox, record that! But if you guys thought those reactions were allowed, wait until you hear my reaction to hitting the Strela quad feed. Oh my god, let's go! Oh! I just did exactly what Karina did! Let's go! I'm sorry guys, I know your ears are probably broken after those clips, but if you can still hear me, play Ground War if you want to get launcher quad feeds. It's obviously the best because there's so many players, and there's just so many opportunities for huge multi-kills. Please hit four of them. Please hit- Oh! Five in! Whoa! Wow. Let's go! Another one's coming down! Ah, it missed. <laughs> Let's go! And finally, guys, our last gun for the video is going to be the RPG. I was playing some ground war on Cory, spawned in, just got this. Oh! I got a quad! Just like that! It blew up something else, but that's a quad. Now, technically, that RPG did hit a munitions box, which helped blow up the enemies. So, thankfully, right before recording this video, I was playing on the farm map, and I got this. Oh! Holy what? Shit. Can I sneak Funny. that into the video? <laughs> So, 22 minutes later, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed a quad feed with every gun on Modern Warfare. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could take the time to like this video and share it with anyone who you think might enjoy watching. Because this quad feed with every gun video is undoubtedly the biggest project I've ever worked on for the quad feed series. Karina and I spent days playing Modern Warfare trying to get the best clips possible that we could for you guys, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed all of them. Especially the right shield clip on Gulag. But seriously guys, it takes a lot of time and effort to make videos like this possible, and anything that you guys can do to support it would be amazing. But yeah, other than that, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.